In today's video, I'm going to be building a zoo in Bloxburg. So, so many of you guys were recommending me to build a zoo. So today, that is exactly what we're going to be doing. And as you can see behind me, I've already pre-built the floor plan of the zoo. So now all we have to do is decorate it. But before that, let's name the plot. Okay, empty plot. More like I saw a loaf in a cage at my zoo. It was bread in captivity. Get it? Bread. Shut your bubblegum dumb dumb looking at- <laughs> Alright, so with our plot name done, it is finally time to build a zoo. And I think the first thing we're going to start on is the entryway. When you go to zoos and they have like a really big entryway, I want it to feel like that. I haven't been to a zoo in like donks. There's actually a zoo like where I live and I love visiting the giraffes there because the giraffes have the best view. This is literally like the Sydney Zoo and the giraffes have the best view. Anyway, I remember once I went to the zoo and it like licked my hand. Kind of gross because giraffes have a very big tongue. You know what, speaking of giraffes, we're gonna use a giraffe texture at the bottom here. We also need a massive sign up here that says zoo. And you guessed it, we're gonna be making this out of basic shape. Is it gonna flop? Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Wait, how, how's the Z go? Oh my god. I really had to just draw out how a Z is like, you know what, you saw nothing. I didn't do that. You didn't see anything. Okay, I think that's the Z. <laughs> now we need the O. You know what? Actually, let me know in the comments what your favorite animal at the zoo is. If any of you say spiders, I'm scared of you. All right, ready? Moment of truth. Boom. Maybe. All right, and you know what, guys? This isn't any regular zoo. Darling, this is the AV Zoo. Okay, scrum diddly yum. That is a nice entrance. Scrum diddly yum yum. Ma -pur -pur. So there's going to be like the entrance and then the exit. So if we put a rope fence like this, this can be the way you go in and this can be the way you go out. So that means we'll need two signs that say exit and entrance. Hopefully none of you guys fall into the animal cages. That would kind of suck. Okay, looking good. Excuse me, where did you come from? I do not remember placing you, thanks. But I guess we'll also need like a massive parking space at the front here so people can, you know, park their cars. Another thing I realized is how expensive fences are in Bloxburg. So, you know what, I'm definitely gonna go poor after this, but it's fine. Now we just need to add a way for people to pay. So we'll just put a sunset window here and that way people can pay through this window. And then like a map of the zoo. That's super important. Maps on zoos are so confusing by the way. I remember I went to a zoo once and I was trying to read the map. I just sat there like a confused woman. I'm like, how do I read this? You know who our security person's gonna be, guys? Gordon Ramsay in Salem will be my security decal. Yeah, he can go right here. <laughs> Why is he so small? There we go, that's a little bit better. And then we'll just need a sign that says pay here. I don't think you'll want to scam Gordon Ramsay anyway. Or Salem. They're both very scary. Alright, so I guess once you walk in and pay, you're then in the inside. So I'm thinking over here is where I'm gonna add some higher golf cup golf golf carts? Golf What's the word? Golf carts. Duh. Okay. We can have a little higher golf cart right here. Oh, and we can make it like camo. You know in the safari how the golf carts like camo? Oh my god, stop. I love it. And now all we have to do is extend this footpath and make it like all around the zoo here. So that way people can either choose to walk or use the golf cart. And we're also going to add a wall here. And the reason I'm adding one here is so I can place the map of the zoo so people know where they're going. Okay, now next what we're going to do is add fences all around the cages, aka the most expensive part of this thing. But anyway, so the fence we're going to use is depending on the animal that's going to be in the cage. I reckon we can start off with like cute little animals first. So we'll just have a farm fence here. Maybe some zebras or emus. All right, so two fences like that. And then in the middle here, I want this to either be like a walk-in aviary or a lion's den. So either way, we're going to have some pretty big titan fences, like max security. Oh, and then maybe back here, we can have like some penguins. And you're probably like, Alaska, it's sunny. You're not allowed to have penguins in the sun. Well, you know what? I'm adding penguins. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. You know what these fences remind me of? The fence from Madagascar. <laughs> okay, and then over here is going to be another parking lot with some food trucks just in case you want to stop and grab some food. Now back here, we're going to have the big cages. This is where the big boys go. I'm trying to think of a big animal, but I can't think of any. The hip hop, the, the hip hop, hip hop. Hipponymous. Hip, hippodipus. Guys, why can I not say hippodipus? <laughs> Guys, stop. Hippodipus. Is that how you say it? Oh my god, do you actually hear what it sounds like? <laughs> well, that's terrifying. And the last thing we're going to add is a merch stall. You know how every zoo has a little merchandise stall? Well, that is what we're going to add right here. I actually have a childhood toy of mine. It's um, a little polar bear. And unfortunately, it's no longer mine. It's Salem's. He eats it. He chews it. Let's just say that polar bear no longer looks like a polar bear, if you know what I mean. Okay, so the first building I actually want to work on, I reckon we can start here and then make our way all around. It's going to be such a big job, but it's okay. So the first thing we can do is the toilet. So the toilets are going to be pretty simple. 
simple. We just have one, two, three, four toilets, and we also have some on this side. I feel like every time I go to a public bathroom, it looks like this. I mean, hey, at least it's accurate. And guys, don't worry, I'm not mean. Everyone can get their own toilet paper as well. Don't worry, in the AV Zoo, you will not ever run out of toilet paper. I think the biggest culture shock for me as an Australian, is I was looking at like an American bathroom and they had gaps in the toilet. And I'm like, <gasps> so y'all telling me you go to the toilet with a gap in the toilet like what if you're just doing a poo and you're like someone looks at you you have eye contact with that person like no thanks i've right, got the outside of the toilet done now we just need to add these sinks because if you don't wash your hands while you go to the toilet then um <laughs> wash your hands i remember when i was little my dream was to own a zoo i don't know why when i was little i was like i'm gonna own a zoo when i'm older and i mean hey look at me i'm now building one personally i think that is the next best thing the building style is definitely out of my comfort zone but i'm trying to make it as accurate as a zoo bathroom would look anyway the bathroom's done so now i guess we can work on the merch store you know what this is reminding me of jurassic park i don't know why it feels like i'm building jurassic park right now okay we're gonna keep the merch store relatively simple because it's not going to be the main focus the main focus of this zoo is going to be the enclosures in the kids section there's a bunch of these soft toys and it's just perfect so we can have these little plushy lions a thousand dollars mate why on earth are you so expensive i'm confused this says it's a polar bear it does not look like a polar bear to me okay what's another zoo animal maybe some octopus oh i actually hate octopuses man Nah, i'm scared of octopuses i don't know what it is but ooh. I know kittens aren't zoo animals, but we can just pretend it's a tiger, okay? Oh my god, we can also have like some goodie bags and we can make them like camo. Last thing we're gonna add is some clothes for some good old merch, you know? Oh, and a mirror to like stare at ourselves while we try on our fit. Okay, and I think that is our merch store all complete. So now we can move on to the fun bit, which is the animal enclosures. So as you can see, the first animal enclosure is gonna be right here. You're also probably wondering how I'm gonna make these animals. So if we wanna have a little zebra, we'll just put a transparent cube. Resize it to make it skinny. Oh my god, why did I kind of pop off on that? And then you just put a decal like this and you type up zebra. Oh my gosh, Mom! Marvin. Yep, yep, we're gonna have him. We can just put Marvin in his cage. We can have two Marvins. The more the merrier. Actually, no. You know what? Three Marvins. What's better than one Marvin? Three Marvins. Is that even his name? What is the zebra called from Madagascar? Marty. Oh my god, stop. I was calling him Marvin. Okay, we're gonna give Marty a little shelter just in case it rains. Is he a zebra? Yes. Am I giving him LED lights? Yes. And as we know, zebras love grass. So we're going to add lots of grass in here. Oh, we also need a sign. You know when you're like walking past an animal enclosure and they have a sign? Yeah, we'll have that right there. Zebras have like hay. So maybe if we have some hanging towels, so we can use classic carpet and make this like cork. Hey, that kind of worked. Hey. And then for the water, we're just going to use a barrel. Yes, a bathtub barrel. And if we want to go that extra bit fancy, we can put a cube inside of the bathtub. So it actually looks like there's water inside of the bathtub. We also can't forget to add a bunch of trees. I want the zoo to feel like it's very in with nature so lots of trees and lots of greenery okay there is our zebra enclosure i love it it's so cute all right and what's going on in this cage is kangaroos like guys i'm australian you think i wouldn't have kangaroos in my zoo of course we're gonna have some kangaroos we're gonna have two we're gonna just pretend they're boxing right now if this was a real kangaroo enclosure they would definitely hop out of this but we're gonna make this like desert themed we're gonna make this feel like it's the outback and you know what we'll give these kangaroos a tree inside their enclosure that way they're not in like the scorching sun all day. Kangaroos are actually so scary. Like they seem cute. Like I would not want to get into a boxing fight with a kangaroo. Let me in. Let me in please. Okay, I actually really like that enclosure for the kangaroos. All we need to do now is just add the food and water. I need to build like something where I can have the food and waters ready. I'm going to build one now so then I don't have to keep adding them every single time I do an enclosure. Hey, look at me. It worked. So now we can just copy this and place it inside of the enclosure. So now we have over here and you're probably like, what's going in here? I'll tell you. All right, here's a little hint, okay? This animal needs water. This animal also needs snow. It also needs some mountains. Can you guess what it is yet? If you guess tiger, you guess correctly. I'm kidding kidding it's a penguin we can have a penguin chilling by the water you can have one right up against the fence and then we can have one right on top of the mountain and because these penguins are going to be like out in the sun all day we can have some automated fog machines and we can just pretend there's lots of snow that keeps the enclosure nice and cold for them and now moving on to the next enclosure we're gonna have some monkeys in here ooh, ooh, ah, ah, monkeys this is my gorilla i call him george and he is gonna be in my zoo i want george to be a nice big boy like that <laughs> that's a big chunky boy <laughs> 
This one can be a skinny gorilla. Oh, not that skinny. Like that. That's kind of cute. Oh, it can be like a mom and son. Okay, so one thing monkeys need is some trees. And we're also going to build like a little cave. Just in case they want to get away from all of the humans. So to make this a cave, we can just use like slate material. I actually love gorillas. I think they're so cute. The only thing is I hate seeing gorillas in cages. I hate seeing any animals in cages, to be honest. That's why I'm not like a huge fan of the zoo. Oh, we can have hanging vine trees. Kind of overlapping this little cave. So it's nice and cozy for them. Oh, I love this. And gorillas are kind of playful. So we can have a kid's pool here. Just in case they want to have a little dip in the pool. And then to make it more interactive, we can have like a string of rope that goes up to the tree. And finally, their food and water bowl. Oh, I might add more things in the future. But for now, I'd say it's pretty good. Now we have this massive cage in the middle. I'd say this cage is pretty big. It's also like the first thing you see when you walk inside the zoo. So I think I might make this the tiger enclosure. So this is kind of what like a tiger enclosure looks like at a zoo. As you can see, they've got like a bunch of different things to play with because when you think of it tigers are just like big cats so they pretty much just need things to play with so we can make like a little custom cat stand right here tigers are honestly like so beautiful <laughs> like i want one this can kind of be like where the cats sit in the sun and chill because one thing about tigers is that they love to climb so we need to add lots of climbing trees oh actually you know what i can do i just thought of a genius idea what if i put like two coconut trees like this and then if i go into structural and pick out some standard square beams we can make a little ladder on top of the tree so the tigers can like play around on it and you know we're also gonna have a pool in here i guess that can also be their drinking water as for the tiger's food the only time there should be food in here is if like the zookeeper is going in and placing meat so we're not actually gonna have anything now that i'm thinking of it, a tiger can literally just like jump on top of this and roam free in the zoo yeah you know what for safety purposes we're gonna make the tiger enclosure two story yeah that definitely makes more sense and now all we have to do is add the tigers as you can see we've got a big handsome tiger right here maybe there can be one on top of the enclosure and then we can have one drinking by the water. Okay, so there we go. We've got our tiger enclosure. That is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. We also need a feed station. So we're just gonna do something simple right here. I don't know why, but I feel like being a zookeeper would be such a scary job. Like imagine going and feeding an animal and like getting your hand bitten off. We'll put one of these maximum security doors here. This way no one can break into the tiger enclosure. We also need some tubs of like storage. So we can have some jars, maybe some cardboard boxes. Oh, we definitely need some post-it notes so the zookeepers know like what animal has gotten fed. Oh, a wheelbarrow to, you know, pick up a poo. And then just a shelf. That is literally a fridge. I could just call that a shelf. Finally, a painting so people know not to go in the cage. If oh, I see anyone in this cage, I'm gonna be mad. Now we have this section over here. So this is gonna be parking space. So if you're done at driving your buggy around, you'll park it here and then you can kind of sit down and have lunch with your family. We also need to make sure to put a fence around here so people know not to wander off. As in people, I mean kids. Never take your kid to a zoo. Anyway, we're gonna have a few picnic tables around the place. So there's lots of seating options for everyone. With some umbrellas under my umbrella. <laughs> you know Tom Holland's umbrella dance? Every time I hear that song, I'm like, oh my gosh. We can also have some like reserved parking spots here. Like, VIP only parking. Don't park here. And we can have a little picnic table. Last two times I was meant to go on a picnic, it got canceled. Better not happen next time. Okay, I'm gonna try and make these food trucks. So they can sell things like pizza, burgers, hot dogs all that fun junk. I'm actually so excited for my zoo opening. I'm gonna make sure to like hire a bunch of you guys so then the zoo won't like fall into shambles. Okay, to make this like a fully functional food truck, an opening here where you order your food, a few of the menu items, massive sign of what it is. Maybe this can be like a pizza truck. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Some wheels to make it look like it's actually on a truck with a bunch of the menu items. Maybe this could be like tacos or something. Actually, if we want to make this like a taco truck, the top here, I really want to have like a taco. I don't know how I'm gonna build a taco, but hey, you know me if i set my mind to something i will get it done tacos are actually pretty easy all you need is like two convex straights together like this and then just copy the layer so it's like the cheese and the tomato we've got the taco shell now we just need the tomato there we go we have a little taco does it look like a taco not really but oh well so moving on now we have the second floor to the zoo so this is where we're gonna have the polar bears the reason i want to have the polar bears in here is because it's nice and secluded so the first thing we need is a rail so people don't you know fall off av zoo is many things but unsafe is not one of them. This is reminding me of the movie We Bought a Zoo. I don't know if you guys remember that movie, but I was literally obsessed with that movie. When I was little, I literally used to watch it all the time. And then I was like to my mom, I want a zoo. And she's like, uh, no. All right, so because the polar bears are going in here, I want to make it nice and white for them. Make it look exactly like the Arctic. So like we done with the penguins, we can have some mountains here Then make the rest of this out of pool. Oh, snow actually seems so relaxing. I have never actually seen snow before in my life. Like actually answer this question. What does snow feel like? Is it fluffy? Yeah. Let the end. 
I feel like it's fluffy. At the same time, I have no idea. Right, so polar bear enclosure is done. I think we might even eventually make this an underground walking area so people can actually see the polar bears underground. Like they can go under here and walk all around. Oh, that would be so cool. All right, we're so doing that eventually. And this is the polar bear that's gonna be in the enclosure. His name is um Sean, Sean the polar bear. Two polar bears in here. Cause it's not like super big, so I don't want it to be really crowded. Sean can go up here and then his buddy Joe can be like by the door. It looks kind of creepy. It looks like he's waiting for the zookeeper to come out to be like, oh. One thing we are missing though is a roof. Because if we don't have a roof, someone can just walk up here and fall into the enclosure. And um, we both know how that ends. So we're gonna place a pyramid glass roof up the top here. Oh my god, low key. That is actually kind of cool. Like when you're in here, oh, it reminds me of Happy Feet when he got trapped in that enclosure, like with the humans. And he was tap dancing and all the humans were like, um, what are you doing? Okay, so the polar bear enclosure is done. Now we have this little enclosure. Oh, we can have Marty. We can have Marty in here. We have the whole Madagascar a crew. Wait, is this Marty or Melvin? I don't know the names. The giraffes actually aren't that big, so I guess we can have like four of them. And the giraffes also need their own little shelter, or Melvin, whatever his name is. I'm not even going to Google it. it. It starts with an M. I just don't know what it's called. Oh, we can have some apple trees in here. Do giraffes even eat apples? I'm pretty sure they do. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure giraffes are carnivals. They do not eat meat. We can have some bales of hay here. So then the giraffe goes up to the humans. And we can also have some more hay in their stable as well. Now the last enclosure on the first floor is over here. And in the last cage, we're gonna have eagles. Because we haven't added any birds in the zoo yet. So I feel like adding some eagles is the perfect fit. And even if you're coming up to the second floor, you can still see them, which is pretty cool. And then up the top here, we'll add a pyramid glass roof so the birds can't, you know, fly off. If I ever get reincarnated as an animal, I would want that to be an eagle. And for like their perches, we're gonna have a few dead trees. That way, if they're flying around, they can just rest on one of the branches. Bada beam, bada boom. Oh, we can give them a little pond as well. Oh, and we can also have like these hex shelves. Oh, and I thought of something cool. What if we add a pillar and then add floating shelves going around the pillar? Why is the birdcage actually turning out better than all the other enclosures? <laughs> All right, now we also need the food for the birds. I think we're just gonna put like a bunch of compact bushes here, make it look like bird seed. I have no idea. That definitely does not look like bird seed, but you know what? It'll do the job. Okay, now the last thing we need to add in the zoo is the creepy crawlies, which are in the basement. When I say creepy crawlies, I'm talking about spiders, snakes, bugs. My Australian, yes. Am I scared of them? Yes. My friend actually has a pet snake and I'm like, girl, I love ya, but I will never be holding your snake. Oh, she also has a pet spider. And I'm like, um, most of the time when I go into like the insect section of the zoo, like there's usually very minimal lighting because most of the animals are nocturnal. So in the enclosures, we're actually gonna make this red lighting, spooky lighting. And we'll make the walls out of like grass. So it feels like they're in nature. There was this TikTok I saw the other day and it was like, oh my God, look at this spider. It's so cute. And all the comments were like, oh my God, that is the cutest spider I've ever seen in my life. And like, oh, that thing has like eight eyeballs. Okay, so we need some signs at the front here. In summer, oh my gosh, it's the worst to live in Australia because like all the cockroaches that will fall on your face while you were sleeping. So I've got like the walkway under here. Now we need to actually fill this stuff in. Oh, this is gross. I guess we can start off with the spiders. My, I'm getting goosey bumps. Oh, what is that? Okay, I guess we can just use this one. Ooh, ew, why is it so big? Like, calm down. All right, now get in your cage and stay in there. Okay, one thing spiders love is like lots of compact bushes, lots of things they can kind of like crawl in and hide in. I read this thing once and it was like, when you wake up with a sore throat, there's a big chance you actually spider during your sleep. And when I read that, I gagged. All right, so I've got the spider enclosure. Oh, looks so creepy. Now we have the snake enclosure. Oh, we can have a cute little snake. Okay, that's kind of cute. Hey, why am I adding creepy decals where I can add like cute little snakes? We'll call him Billy, Billy the snake. As for snakes, um, they love hiding in boulders. I'm also like really scared of snakes as well. The amount of times I have seen a snake while walking to my horses, literally insane. And you know what? Maybe some grass as well. Maybe fancy, give them some hanging plants. Okay, so there we go. We've got our snake enclosure. Now we've got two more enclosures to go. I went to change the decals and just look at this. Oh, <gasps> we've got Nemo and Dory. Okay, so I've got all our fishy friends ready. Oh my god, Dory, are you okay, girl? Why do you look like that? Anyway, Dory and Nemo can go in here. To make it look more realistic, we can have some bubbles in the background. So we got that little fishy enclosure. And then finally, our cute little jellyfish. Okay, and just like that, our zoo is all complete and comes to a total of $327,000.
So let's go have a look. So as soon as you walk in, we have a massive entryway. And as you can see from the sign, it says enter here. So we walk here, get served by Gordon Ramsay and Salem, pay for our tickets and then continue our way in. As you can see, we've got a pretty big map of the zoo. So we kind of don't get lost. And if we want to, we can go over here to buy some merch or some toys from the zoo. Personally, I would have bought this elephant. So yeah, you can buy some clothes. And then once you've bought your stuff, you can collect it from this cute little zoo themed shopping bag. So once I have my zoo opening and invite all you guys it'll be like little maps of like where to go if you're not sure where to go you can go over to the left here and hire a buggy for the day but before you buy a buggy you should probably go to the bathroom luckily for us we have a lot of bathrooms to choose from and none of them are occupied so that is good so yeah we can just go in our little buggy and make our way around to the zoo oh my gosh please do not crash <laughs> So once you've grabbed your buggy, you can follow the footpath and have a look at all the animals. First up, we have Marty or Marvin. I still don't know his name. Either way, we've got the zebras over here. I also love the tiger enclosure. This, I think this is definitely like one of my favorite enclosures because I love tigers, so. And then going back in our buggy, if we keep going straight, we have the kangaroos over to our left. Very cute. Until they kick you in the face. And then we have the... Penguins. I nearly forgot the name. We've got the penguins. We probably shouldn't jump in here, but you know what? It's fine. It's not like they're going to eat me because they're decals. And then if we keep going straight, we have the gorillas. We've only got two gorillas in here. The mummy and her baby. One thing I love about the gorilla enclosure is like the cave in here. I also don't know how to get back out of here. Um, should have probably added a fence. And if you get sick of driving your buggy, you can come in here. And if you're hungry during the day, you can come in here and park your buggy while you grab something to eat. And we've got lots of food options. We can buy tacos or we can buy pizza from Salem and Ramsey's Pizzeria. Personally, I would prefer some pizza. So yeah, you can sit down at any of these tables, enjoy your lunch. And then once you are done, eating we can continue on with the tour so this is the tiger enclosure so the only way to get into the tiger enclosure is to actually go in through the star feeding gates which is only meant for star and then you can actually go into the tiger enclosure and then meet all the tigers hey girl and now coming up to the second part of the zoo we've got the big boys the big animals as you can see from the sign we have the polar bear enclosure where are the polar bears wait can you not see them through the glass oh my gosh you can't see the polar bears through the glass oh no well i'm gonna have to get rid of that glass roof and then walking all the way over here we have the giraffes i probably should have made these giraffes bigger but and then the last enclosure on the second story we've got the eagle as you can tell by this really weird why did i choose this decal i really love this bird cage i think it turned out like so realistic we literally have a flying eagle in the middle of the air and now making our way to my least favorite part of the zoo which is the creepy crawlies and if we keep going underground we have all of the creepy crawlies starting with the spider like tell me you would not have nightmares of this like are you kidding me and then next to the spiders we have the snakes personally i hate snakes but like look at this guy how could you hate him he's just a little cutie patootie and then opposite of the snakes and the spiders we have our aquarium animals so we've got the jellyfish over here and then we have nemo and dory so yeah that is my whole entire zoo all complete in one of my upcoming videos i would love to do a zoo opening and i may even add like more animal enclosures in the meantime and surprise you guys so make sure to subscribe to the channel to participate in a future video like that and i will see you in the next one bye